suggest ways for introverted testers to develop their soft skills, such as assertiveness and communication, which may not come naturally to them? Yeah, it's it, it's a really important question because, you know, we a, a lot of us are introverts or have our moments when we're introverted. And th those are also two really good like, assertiveness is another really great um, example. I think it's definitely something that I've I've struggled with. Um, I think it can be important to start slowly and in smaller settings. So finding people that you feel psychologically safe around that create that space where you could ask a question. It doesn't have to be in a company wide or a team wide meeting, um, but just, you know, even just asking a question directly to one individual and then you can build that up. So, OK, well, maybe I'll ask the team that question or maybe I'll ask a group of people. So you you, you can build these things up. slowly. you don't have to go big bang with, with any of these um, in terms of like building relationships, which can help with confidence building. I think, especially with a lot of people still being remote these days, I think considering having your camera on again in spaces where you feel safe enough to do so, because actually you're not actually looking people directly in the eye when you're on camera, um, because like I want to look, yeah, I want to look <laughs> at Rich. I want to like sort of do a bit of lip reading to sort of, that. I feel like I'm looking in your eyes, but if I actually look in my camera, which would be directly at you all, I can't actually gauge Rich's reaction is he interested is he about to say something so you know camera on can actually help build some confidence because you feel like you've got that eye contact so you can sort of practice that remotely a bit and then I think le learning from others I think you know it doesn't have to be I've got to learn to do this all by myself you know you can find someone that's just that one step of confidence ahead of you. You don't have to find someone that's, you know, a manager that's been doing this for like, you know, 15, 20 years. It can just be someone that's got a little bit more confidence than you. You can learn from them. You could ask them a bit like, you know, some of these questions are under the ruse of, of Richard Bradshaw. If you, you could message someone and say, could you ask this question? Because if you're afraid that it's going to be seen as a stupid question, which by the way, there are no stupid questions in this, especially in this session. But if you're worried about the response or maybe that you wouldn't get the right group of people replying, you could ask someone to ask that question and then seeing the response to that will hopefully give you the confidence to then maybe ask it yourself next time.